Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Sunbeams in the Sky, Volume 2. Uh, it is by Monica Konami, translations Julie Gonowich, and letterings Rochelle Gantzio. Um So the story is about these, these two girls, Hamari and Mio, who've switched spots. Um, I honestly will get them completely mixed up, but one was assaulted uh, by a couple guys and wound up kind of becoming a shut-in. Her sister's somewhat popular, so eventually to get her to go start going to school and engaging with people, the sister decides to, like, hey, switch spots and you can kind of go to school as me and get more used to it and, and all that. Well, there's, of course, relationships and people like different people and, you know, someone figures out the switcheroo and all that stuff. I mean, it, it's, it is a typical... Um, you know, twin switching story. Um, you know, there's nothing too groundbreaking as far as that. There's nothing too shocking or surprising at all. Um, and it, it's good. Uh, for me, it's it, at times it's a little bit difficult to keep track of everyone. Um, there's like a friend that's got short hair that looks a lot like the two. And uh, there's different guys. And it's just a lot of like relationships and going back and forth and all that. And it, it's entertaining and it's cute, but... It, I don't think it's quite for me. Um, I might check out Volume 3, but this might be it for me. Um, I'm not saying it's bad at all. I mean, if you like that sort of story, story uh, it's quite good. Uh, it's just one where I'm like, I've got so much other stuff to read. This is one, it's like, I feel like I need a flow chart to keep track of everybody. Uh, and the art's good, but at the same time, like, it, it, not everybody stands out well enough that it's really clear, like, who is who. Um, so overall, like, it, it's good like there's nothing bad about it i mean it's a very it does it's kind of formulaic storytelling and genre well um you know i i think it's kind of weird that there's like this massive trauma on the sister and that's happened and it doesn't feel like anyone's like really trying to help her um but that might be just kind of japanese culture as a whole um so i think that's kind of my big thing is like it's just weird of, like, this traumatized sister is just like, hey, you're going to go back as me, and everything's like, okay, great. Um, you know, this one has a lot of, a little bit more humor in the, the art style and stuff going on, and, um, you know, it's just a lot of boys and girls and who likes who and all that is. So, yeah, I mean, again, not bad, but just not necessarily for me. Um, it's interesting, but, you know, it doesn't quite blow me away. Uh, you can go get it, though. This is out in comic shops. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. A tell if a comic shop is near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so you do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. So thank you. And I want to thank you, Press for going to up with the review copy. And thank you all for watching. If you are into manga, if you're into comics, graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping you nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those manga and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.